Hi, I'm Steve Adams and welcome to Boat Show TV. I'm pleased to say I have here with me at the studio John Claridge. Hi John. Yeah, hi. Now the clue, you're from John Claridge Boats. There's a bit of a clue there. Tell us what you guys do. We build boats. And what boat do you build in particular? Our main one nowadays is the uh, Limington River Scow. Okay, what kind of boat is that? It's a 11 foot 4 sailing dinghy, um, traditional design. We modified it to suit uh, the needs of the uh, Royal Limpton Yacht Club's uh, junior sailing and uh, other people have found it very good as well. It, it's, a, it's a unique design isn't it? Tell me where, where the actual design comes from. It was originally designed by a guy called Dan Brand back in about 1911. Um, it's always been popular around, around Limington and other areas as well. Other people have taken the dimensions and produced similar scows. There's fleets all over the country, really. What is the definition of a scow? That's a very that good a question. question? <laughs> it's not a really a scow. Oh, right. Um, it depends on what you call a scow. The, the, this is the problem with sailing, you see. It is. Isn't it? And it, to make matters even worse, he then was asked to build a bigger scow, which he did. And so it didn't get confused. He called that the pram. <laughs> and it isn't a pram, so the whole thing is right, a, a so, total mixture. So we'll say it's a scow, we yeah. won't get into that. Yeah. How did you end up making them, John? Purely I was asked to build a boat for the uh, uh, junior sailing programme at the Royal, and uh, we thought about building a whole new design, um, which was tempting, but then we thought it would be much nicer to take what they had roundabouts, which was the scow, and make it do what they wanted to do. We had a lot of trouble from the scow purists initially. They, they didn't like the idea of built-in buoyancy and uh, uh, a jib and things like that. But most of them, I think, have come round. You know, they, they see the sense of it. And it's a local sort of design. Now, it what, is. I've seen these boats down in Limington going yeah. round and round in circles with, with young kids in learning. It, it, it's a training boat, isn't it? No, no? It, it, it was built as a training boat, but it sort of progressed from there. Um, other club members suddenly decided that this was the boat that they would like to sail as well. And racing them? Do they, is there a racing fleet? Very strong. It's the biggest racing fleet. It's the biggest fleet in Limington. And on a Monday night, we get out about uh, 20, 20 odd boats racing. Very high standard, some of them. Very low standard, some of them. It sort of varies. Um, well, that's what sailing's all about, it, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's a great leveller. The, the boat is easy to sail, difficult to sail well, um, and it will take a high, big range of rates, uh, weights, sorry, sorry. And the other interesting thing is we, we, we actually have the rules which say that if you have a crew, you can have a jib. Oh, okay, which single means, handed. Yeah, you only have one sail. Oh, okay. But if you have a crew in the boat, you can have a jib, which means that they, they t like to take out young children. Oh, okay. So, so if you've no got weight. a young, young child or something like that. <laughs> you get shoved in yeah. the boat. <laughs> you, you actually go faster because uh, you've got... You're allowed uh, to put a jib up. You're allowed to have a jib and you haven't got the weight. It's However, clever. it sorts itself out because the kids get bigger. So unless you've got a whole string of children coming along, it doesn't really give you advantage for very long. Fantastic. Now, now at the show, what sort of feedback do you guys get when people come and see the boat? Generally, they like to touch it because it's finished off in teak. So the, the feel of teak, I think, is what they, they really like. Um, and everybody seems to know of it or a lot of people know of it and they just like to see it in, in, in actual what it is. Okay and you do a, a whole pack, package I guess someone comes along they can come away with with a trailer, boat, sails, everything they need to get on the water. Absolutely we make most of it ourselves and other stuff we source. Uh, yeah they, they, we like to produce a complete boat. And you were telling me these are, these are built to order, is that correct? They are, yes. So, so that, I, I love the idea of coming along, seeing the boat you like and saying, now make me one, that's fantastic. Yeah, a range of colours, you can have almost any colour under the sun, any colour sail under the sun, stripes are in this year, you know. Uh, it, <laughs> I, personally I thought that, that it should be kept very sort of uh, traditional. But having seen them out on the river, it really livens it's, the river yeah, up. Absolutely, and it gets more people yeah. involved, maybe. Well, that's absolutely. Great. Thank you very much for coming to tell us about that, John. I hope you My have pleasure. a great week at the show. Mm. So, the boat show isn't just all about big boats, it's about small boats, fun boats. Come and get involved and come and take a look.